Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a super delicious and super healthy dumplings with dandelion and beef. It's a great kickstart for the beautiful spring. It's very simple to make and it's not time consuming. From root to flower, dandelions are highly nutritious plant, loaded with vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Dandelions greens can be easily cooked or rolled and serve as an excellent source of the vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and K. And the only thing we need is flour, beef, dandelion greens, and a pinch of salt. Very simple. Let's get started. So first we need 400 grams of flour and a cup of water with the room temperature. Just slowly give in and mix them. At the beginning you don't have to make the dough very smooth. Just put them together and keep them with a lid for about 30 to 40 minutes. And now let's prepare the stuff. The stuffing, I mostly use the meat directly from the package, from the box. 250 grams of beef or mixed with uh, pork. I'm making the, for this amount for four persons. Two adults, two children as a family. So I give a lot of salt, probably two spoons, two teaspoons of salt, some soya sauce, black pepper, and young onion, two small slices of ginger, put them all together, mix into the mixer and uh, well mix them. Then I add them together into the stuffing. So first we make the meat. We first have to make the meat. Uh, we have to put enough salt in the meat. As you can see, I'm mixing them very well. I'm adding water slowly. Just use your five fingers. Mix them clockwise very well. Mix them and use more than half cup of water and give a little more of salt because later on we don't need we don't add any salt in the vegetable because the salt will make the water coming out from the vegetable so I'm keep mixing keep mixing clockwise never go backward clockwise clockwise mix them mix them for about 10 to 50 minutes I'm adding again water so for 250 grams of meat I need mostly the whole cup of water I put them slowly in and mix them. Mix them very well. Put the meat aside. Let's play with the deadline. Wash them thoroughly and boil the water and add the deadline directly in the boiling water for about 2-3 seconds and take them out. It's a little too much water so I squeeze them a little bit then I cut them I chop them into very small pieces and I pick the root the big pieces out I chop them very well into very small pieces then I add the meat stuffing into the vegetable for this time you don't add any extra salt any extra spices in. Mix them thoroughly, mix them well, put them aside, you can put them in fridge and now let's play with the dough. As you will feel the dough it's very smooth now. Make them a bowl and go from the middle. Don't cut them, always use your hand as a knife. Go from the in a bowl, cover with the lid,
for the dumpling skins, I will show you two ways of making them. The first way is a little bit complicated. If you have time, you can play with them. It's a little bit time consuming, but since we're all in quarantine at home, I think we can train a little bit. Practice makes perfect. We cut them as a small pieces, very small pieces. Put some dry flour on it so they don't stick together. As you can see, I make them very round, facing up. Then press down, make them small circles, small balls. Then I use this very special um, stick which I brought from China and I make the dumpling skins. Of course, I've been trained for a long time, so you don't have to make it so perfectly as I do, but you can train for sure. So I will show you the first way how I make dumplings. That's also a complicated way, but you can still train with it. Put the stuffing into the dumpling skin and go to the right side. And as you can see closely, fold them nicely one by one, but don't put too much stuffing. Right? That's one dumpling. Let's make another one. Don't be too greedy. Don't put too much stuffing. Fold them one by one. That actually makes the dumpling very pretty. Okay, I will show you now the second way to make the dough. If you don't know how to use the stick, how to make them perfectly round, just take the second part of the dough, make them like a ball. and use the one that we can take buy from Slovenia, the big stick, right? Make them round and thin, about two to three millimeter thick. And take one cup and cup them out. That's it, simple. But make sure you use the cup which has a sharp, sharp edge. So very simple, we get them out. The perfect round dumpling skins. Okay, now I'll show you the second way to make the dumplings. Fold them from the middle and use your both hands, squeeze them together. That's it, you don't have to fold them. Now I'll show you the first one again. Put the stuffing in and fold them one by one. Trust me, this is not that hard as you see. Okay, now make the, the, the your pan on the fire. Give a little bit of oil. I don't give a lot. I mostly use the extra virgin olive oil. Just a few drops of it. And when the oil is still cold, Make all the dumplings in your pan nicely, but keep some space in between because as the heat goes on, the dumplings will expand. So you don't want them to stick together. Okay, one by one, put them in. When it's full, wait when the heat goes on. And soon you will hear that the dumplings are making noise. That means the pan is hot enough. At this moment, give some water in it and cover with the lid. Repeat this process three to four times. Whenever when the pan is dry, give some water in, but just a little bit of it. Three to four times repeated, the dumplings are done. Okay, we're ready to eat. Be careful, the stuffing is very hot. If you bite, you can see the deadline, the beef, a perfect match. Mm, 
yummy. It's very delicious. Bon appetito! Dopo take!